everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Tuesday. The Minister for Agriculture, the Honourable Jay E. Banks, joined members of the Cayman Islands Food and Security Policy Steering Committee recently uh, at the Government Administration Building, where they held a meeting. The committee, which comprises a wide cross-section of stakeholders, including business, industry and academia, has been tasked with completing the draft policy by the end of this year. Well, the Mosquito Research and Control Unit will begin efforts to control the Aedes aegypti mosquito today. The mosquito breeds in and around houses, and that's why it's called the domestic mosquito. It lays eggs primarily in man-made containers that hold water. It's also the mosquito responsible for transmitting dengue, zika, and chikungunya. Now, MRCU teams will begin work in West Bay and Bodentown, and operations allow for the teams to survey and treat every yard until they join up in the Georgetown area. Both teams will then focus on surveying and treating Georgetown. Operations will then move on to the Eastern Districts. MRCU Director Dr. Alan Wheeler described access to properties as critical to the team's work of undertaking vital surveillance and treatments. This annual project is a lot of work for our teams and we're very much appreciative any, uh, of any assistance rather that the community is able to provide. MRCU will also continue its control efforts with ongoing work to identify and eliminate mosquito breeding grounds, including remote areas all around the three, three islands. Now, for more advice on mosquito control, you can call uh, MRCU on 949-2557 here on Grand Cayman or 948-2223 over on Cayman Brack. Cayman Islands fire officers helped to build a handicap ramp for a housebound resident who needs to be more mobile. Seven officers led by Officer Matthew Ebanks, who spearheaded the initiative, constructed and installed a handicap ramp for the bedridden member of the community. The fire service became aware of the situation, they say, because they are, they are regularly called to provide lift assistance to residents. Once the materials were purchased, the prep and stain work was done. The team then completed the work in a matter of hours. Well, hundreds of residents who are vaccinated at the HSA took part in the first ever Pride Parade held in the Cayman Islands on Saturday. Premier the Honorable Wayne Panton, His Excellency Governor Martin Roper, Opposition MP Barbara Connolly, and Minister for Tourism and Transport, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan offered their support. The parade included other activities, including an after party. Now, later this week, we will hear more about the upcoming KMAS parade, where participants who are vaccinated at the Health Services Authority only will be able to be a part of that road parade. Turning to the forecast today, the high temperature reached 89 degrees, the low 77. We can expect partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers and possible thunder. Winds are easterly 5 to 10 knots. Seas are slight with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The synopsis calls for isolated showers, which are expected today as a tropical wave currently over Jamaica moves over the Cayman Islands area. Radar images show isolated showers are in and around our area moving towards the west. A reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Have a great night.